Slaying that jank. Thank you for checking out my video. If you enjoyed the content, it would be very helpful for you to give me a like and most importantly hit that subscribe button so in the future, together, we can sling some jank. Thanks in advance. Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another standard deck tech, Dominaria Standard. Uh, today I'm looking at a Sultai mid-range list. It's like sort of an energy deck, but it's a Hadana's climb deck. And it's got some really powerful finishers in the Scarab God and Vraska. Uh, I took this list from... Uh, there was a 5-0 competitive standard league finish by I got somebody named June, J-U-N dot L. Congratulations to them. I took uh, that list and I just moved a few cards around. Uh, they had a main board naturalized. I just wanted to... I think I just wanted to play with a third Brown to Dawn, so I just thought I'd try that. And... Uh, I changed the sideboard up a little bit. So 24 land, mana base, uh, no tricks really other than Ether Hub providing uh, random energy. I don't know if it'll matter. This ain't very much of an energy deck, just the Servant and the Bristling Hydra. So I guess a Hub plus a Servant could potentially power uh, like a Hydra activation. Anyways, 24 lands, 3 Ether Hubs mainly for mana fixing but an extra energy. There are also glint sleeve siphoners in the sideboard. Uh, play set of Blooming Marsh. Single Botanical Sanctum. One blue source. Play set of uh, Fetid Pools. Provides a blue source. Black is our primary and uh, gives us the option to cycle or it turns on our enemy check lands. Two basic forests. A couple of Hinterland Harbors. A couple more blue sources. Four basic swamps. And a play set of cemeteries. Got the full fatal pushes in this one. Two drops. I thought these this was interesting. A couple secret squire instead of... Uh, well, I think the deck is more black, but instead of uh, Merfolk Branchwalker. So I guess this is... Uh, there is a lot of Goblin Chain Whirlers and a lot of uh, Walking Blisses out there. So this might card... So this particular card might be better right now. I guess if you have the option to play it than uh, Branchwalker. We'll see. Playset of Aetherborn, got the playset of Servants, Mana Ramp, playset of J Light Ranger, uh, we got a lot of Explore, uh, Draw, Filtering, and Fixing. Three Brontodons I put in the third one. Uh, I think this card is just really good in standard right now, alongside Vraska. Got two Hadana's Climb, this is like a alternate, turns anything into a win condition. This card could be very powerful if it's not dealt with, or really it's, yeah, basically if it's not dealt with before it flips. Of course, again, the player set of Brass's Contempt. Uh, Bristling Hydra, a really good threat, really good alongside Hadana's Climb. Scarab God, uh, just a finisher on its own. Uh, one of the reasons besides the Climb we're running blue. And a couple of Vraska. I'm really liking Vraska right now. So the sideboard, I changed it up into more of a generic one. Uh, Got I added a fourth and a gate, play set and a gate's just uh it's just a good card to have and we're playing blue so might as well have access to four counter spells. Uh this is interesting, I'm keeping this tech, just bring in glint sleeve siphoners whenever you're not playing against I guess chain whirler and uh walking ballista and stuff like that. And this is mine. I wanted to try a couple of Night of Malice. I don't even know if it's good. I just wanted to try this card maybe in some matches where white I'm playing against white. Couple Doomfall against a lot of different decks and control. The fourth Brontodon. Uh, this card is just beefy and it deals with a lot of stuff. It it totally changes the the game sometimes. So sometimes you just want to have it all all the time. Single cheap of copper, I guess, in those uh, mid range uh, slug fests. And a couple of Nissel Vital Force where it seems to be good. Probably another anti control card. Yep, so I'm on a green black kick right now, so we'll just add it up into so we'll just change it up a little bit into Sultai and let's see how this goes. Alright. Sultai mid range, Dominaria standard. Uh we got the squire. We're kinda shy on green mana here, but hopefully we can explore into something. Opponents on blue white, something.
clear a swamp and pass. Oh, do, I get, do I get to play against Blue White Control my very first game here? Uh, play a cemetery. We'll attempt a squire. It resolves. All right, gets us a land. That's the turn. They cycle cast out. Yeah, looks like we're playing against blue eye control. They have a search for us, Kanta. I don't climb. It's going to pump up our squire. Get in for two. Move to attack. Get in for three. I'm going to play Aetherborn. Gets disallowed. Okay. They pass. Play a hub. All right. Before we go to, they got to, they have to choose to bounce this with blink of an eye. Puts me back in my main phase. I don't know why they did that. So then we'll play a Hydra. So it'll get a counter. Become a 5 4. Pass again. Uh, let's go to attacks. Get in for 6. They use the settle. Play a squire. We'll keep it on top. Play a Brontodon. It's a Hydra. Let's go to combat. Put the counter on the Squire. Attack with both. They have the settle. Uh, I'm gonna kill their search in response. So I'll let I'll get one land at least. Play a Hydra. They have no plays in a turn. We'll cycle fetid pools. It's just a fatal push. Get a counter. Might as well pump it up once, I guess. We got still more energy. They have another set of the wreckage, all right.
All right. <laughs> it's a fairy. Uh, immediately, Vraska's going to tap it. So they get to draw a card and then tap two lands. It's a glimmer. Oh man, land again. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna concede. I don't think there's any way. After they uh, they got five cards in hand and they've answered all my threats. Um, we're on a one on one for one. There's just no way I'm not gonna get through there. So let's try these negates. We'll get rid of these fatal pushes. Sure, let's try the knights. Instead of uh, take out the secret squires. Maybe let me try some siphoners. Instead of jade lights. Try it like that. Yeah, we'll keep this. Play land and pass. Opponent will do the same. Yeah, I guess we'll just throw it out an Aetherborn for now. Get in. Play a hub. Guess we'll uh, play a servant. Add the seal away for my Aetherborn. I think I'm just going to get in with the servant. Just commit a Aetherborn. They have the Essence Scatter, okay. It's a Brontodon. It resolves. Attack with our servant. They take it, go down to 14. And a turn they have cast out, probably on the Brontodon. Nope, on the servant. Because they realize I am not hitting land drops. It's a fairy, okay. Go after Teferi. Uh, we can only pass. They draw a Teferi. Go for a Glimmer. Okay. They untap two lands. There's a land. All right, we'll go after Teferi again. Settle the wreckage. Um, all right, I'll negate it. All right, Teferi down. 
approach. Okay. Well, <laughs> the gate would have been handy for that as well. <laughs> At least now we can uh, stick land something, I guess. Play at Hydra. Hold on, it has an Ixalan's binding. Go for that. Okay. All right. So the binding doesn't stick. I guess they forgot about that. I guess I'll just tack with one guy. They commit it. Play the Scarab God. We'll rise from the grave to Aetherborn. Attack with Brontodon, bring him down to 14. Did they just mill their approach? <laughs> they scoop it up. They accidentally milled their approach. <laughs> Why did they do that? Uh, we'll try it again. Uh, yeah, this is okay. Opponent Mulligan's down to six. We really want to see a land in the next couple draws here. Opponent has no plays yet. There's a land. Uh, we'll go for a servant. I use an SS scatter on it. Opponent has no play. Let's play out the siphoner. They cycle a cast out. Siphon resolves. Gives us an energy. Pass the turn. And the turn they bounce it with blink of an eye. Opponent land go. Didn't draw our fourth land. We'll try the siphoner again. Opponent looks like they don't have a land drop either. We get to draw a card. Yes. There's our fourth land. Comes into play. Tap though. Attempt to attack the glint sleeve. Gives us an energy. We connect with the Siphoner, play our tap land, uh, we'll play a Brontodon. Gets disallowed. Opponent looks like they're missing their land drops again. Okay, uh, move to attacks. Sure, let's throw down this Knight of Malice. Alright, it sticks. Yep, draw an extra card. There's our fifth land. Let's go for this Adonis Climb. Let's see if they want to counter it. They don't.
since I don't have negate up, I'm not gonna play into set of the wreckage, I guess. They do anyways. All right. Uh, let's go to attacks. Trigger down his climb. See if they have another set of the wreckage. They do. <laughs> they are just always having the set of the wreckages. Play a bristling hydra. All right, now we're holding up negate or fetid pulls. And a turn, we'll cycle fetid pulls. Draw, uh, we'll play the hub, more energy. Uh, we'll move to attacks. Get a counter. Beat him down. I'm just going to pass. Approach. I think I could kill him. Should be able to kill him. So I can add a counter here. Transform. And they scoop it up. <laughs> Alright. Well, we beat Blue Eye Control. That was a pretty grindy game, but we did it. <laughs> Alright. Black Green, or Sultai Mid Range and Dominaria Standard. We won the die roll. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Uh, we'll open up with our fitted pulls. Opponents on blue red. Throw down a servant. Gets us two energy. Pass a turn. Lightning strikes down my servant. That's pretty good, because as of right now, we only have a four... Okay, well, Jade Light Ranger helps. We will have to use an energy, though. Play the Jade Light. Secret Squire. Um... I think I'm going to graveyard that. Alright, so we get another land. Get a 3-2. Pawn it charts, of course. Plays a Lava Runner. I will trade here. This deck is pretty threat light, I think, so I think it's an okay trade. Alright, play a cemetery. Play our Hydra. Puts us to 5 energy. Pass a turn. I'm 
Merfolk Trickster. Um, I will let him tap me down. I will not try to expend an energy on that. Oh, actually, I'm wrong. Now that it's lost all abilities, he can lightning strike it anyways. Play a Brontodon. Opponent has a Soul Scar Mage. I guess we'll let the two pass through. We take two, go to 18. Opponent charts a course. I guess we just play Veraska and start going to town making tokens here. Hopefully they don't have Wizards Retort or whatever it is. Alright, we're good. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Pass the turn. Okay, they have uh, Adelise and a Lava Runner. Everything's going at Vraska. I guess we'll block here. We'll block. This is the one I most want to get off the battlefield, I think. So we'll try blocking there. All right, they did have the lightning. So we lose our Brontodon. I guess that was a pretty risky block. Uh, Vraska's still alive at least. So I'll make a guy because that's all we can do anyways. Let's play a Secret Squire. Uh, another land. That wasn't the best. I think we just kill this guy right here right now. Okay. Opponent attacking everything out of Vraska again. Block a Lava Runner. We'll block the Prowess just in case he doesn't have a spell. Oh, actually. Yeah, it, that means my Squire would stay alive. But he has the Lightning Strike. Pointing at Vraska. He's got a storm samer, so he's out of cards. Hopefully, he can top deck some decent stuff here. So now he's got protection from storm tamer. Let's see what happens next turn. Uh, we'll fatal push the storm tamer, I guess. <laughs> Knocks us down to seventeen. Okay, no follow up, but a land. Uh, cycle fetid pools. Oh man, cycle another fetid pools. Unbelievable. All right, our opponent draw some drew some action. Knocks us down to 12. Wow. Opponent, hit, opponent hits us for 5 again. 
Knocks us down to seven. Because we can't draw anything but land. All right, there's a Brontodon. It's probably too little too late. But we'll try it for at least another turn. See if we can have some good running draws here. If we can get rid of Adelie's, we could be in okay shape. So he must not have a burn spell. Or he's just saving it. Aetherborn. Uh, technically, it could help us. Just depends on what my opponent has. All right, hold down the fort again. <laughs> Opponent gets him for two. Knocks us down to three. Ooh, that's not what we want to see. Guess we still just pass. They have Merfolk, Merfolk Trickster. Yeah, so that's game. Guess we could take out the climbs for a couple of negates and try it like that all right we'll keep this play our pulls and pass there's a soul scar mage oh that's pretty nice all right play a marsh uh, we'll just push this now i think When it passes with two mana open. Uh, yeah, let's go for a J light. They got the essence scatter, okay. There's the Edelise. Gets in for two. Land number four. Uh, let's just get the hydra down. Gets us three energy. Opponent ops. Opponent gets in for three. Pitches a shock at my face to pump the uh, Adelies. Knocks me out of 16 with the shock. And down to 12 with Adelies. Uh, we'll attack in. Opponent has a trickster. Uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll give hex proof. We'll crash in. Lock our opponent down to 15. Play Aetherborn. And we'll play a Jade Light. Uh, we'll definitely keep that on top. Opponent charts a course, pumps up his wizards. I'll block with the Death Toucher just to make sure it dies, hopefully. Alright, so we gain two, but we get knocked to 11. 
There's our fatal push. Attack. Play our Brontodon. And opponent scoops it up. Maybe I'll, a cheaper copper might not be too bad. I'll take out uh, one Jade Light. Still kind of slow, but I guess I'll keep it again. Actually, I'm, I probably shouldn't have kept that. It, it doesn't even have double green. Uh-oh, we might get punished. Opponent has... Didn't have a turn one play, at least. And not a turn two play. All right, there's a hub. So that helps us out, at least, for our first casting. Uh, so play to Martian Pass. There's the lava runner for our opponent, but it doesn't have haste. Brought to dawn. All right, we'll get an energy. Yeah, I guess we'll attempt the jade light. If this gets countered, though, we could be in trouble. Yeah, we're probably in trouble. Unless we top deck a, a forest, a green source. Uh, at least we have Vraska's Contempt, potentially. But I'll be really happy to see another green source at some point here. Opponent gets in for two. Oh, wow. Right off the top. Amazing. Okay. We got it. Mm, I'll go for a Brontodon right now. All right, it sticks. Gets unsummoned, though. Okay. And I take a Lightning Strike to the Dome. Okay. My opponent's down to three cards. Opponent gets in for two. We chart a course. Brontodon. And Aetherborn. Okay, that baits out their counter spell. Oh, there's a trickster. Taps down my guy. Hits me for two. All right. I guess we just go for the Hydra now. Okay. So their last card was a counter. Okay, now we got him empty-handed at least. And they have no flyer as of yet. So they top deck and opt. What'd they draw? Another trickster. Wow. Okay, so they get him for four. We'll cycle fetid pools. There's a Vraska. Ooh, and a fatal push. Guess we gotta stick Vraska right now while the coast is clear. 
All right, Vraska. We'll just make a guy, put him in a high low. Let's put her at a high loyalty. And we got to hang back. But next turn, we can start killing stuff, probably. Problem is, we got to kill them <laughs> before they talk to top deck too much burn. All right, that's good. No attacks. All right, let's make a guy. Uh, we'll pass the turn one more time. Trickster. Okay. Taps down our guy. They attack in all at Veroska. We'll block. Block. Fatal push. And they scoop it up. So I was going to probably get to ultimate. Uh, and then ultimate probably kill their blocker and swing in for one because they would put put the, I could probably put their life total to one and then swing in. <laughs> All right, so we took down uh, blue red wizards. All right, Sultai energy mid range dominaria standard. Looks like we won the die roll. Uh, I think we can make this hand work. Opponent mulligans to six. We'll just play this land and pass. Ooh, blue white for our opponent. Um, I guess we'll get down a servant. Gets us two energy. Pass the turn. Looks like we might be playing against blue white control. Let's see if the any response to this? Nope. Gives us a land. Uh, I guess we'll get him for two. Knocking around to 18. Opponent passes. Uh, let's go to combat. Attack with our two guys. Knock it around to 15. Uh, we'll attempt a Hydra. Get syncopated. <laughs> Get syncopated X2. So we wouldn't have been able to pay for that even with the servant up. Speaking of that, X2, I wonder why they cast it for X2. Just because they didn't have anything else to use their mana on. They only had to do it for X1, but whatever. Champion of Wits, okay, so that is not what I expected. Okay, they mill Adorn Pouncer and Fumigate. Huh. So I don't quite know what this deck is. I suppose I just get in with the Seeker because if I swing with both, he'll probably block the Servant, and then I'll just get in for one anyways. This way, if he wants to trade, he trades. If not, I just get in for one. Hmm, he takes it. Okay. So we'll play Hydra. Brings our energy to five. And that being the case, we can play this tap land. And we have Fatal Push open with the Servant. Opponent has another champion. They got a lot, of, a couple of Dorn Pouncers in the graveyard now. They have a nice wall of champions over there as well. 
So I guess we'll attack with these two guys. Because we kind of want to get these champions off the table, It's uh, even though it's not the best. Alright, he takes one, chumps one of the... Jumps with one of the or trades with one of the champions. Guess we'll throw down an Aetherborn. Oh, that did eliminate my fatal push. I should have thought about that a little bit more. I probably should have pushed this down. There's already one in the graveyard, anyways. Well, there's the fumigate, so he did it for me. There's a squire. Gets us a land. Play a servant. Gets us some energy. And we'll pass with Fatal Push or Cycling Fatal Pulls Up. So he's bringing back two champions. They're going to be 4 4 as he gets to two champion triggers. He has plenty of stuff from the graveyard. And a turn will cycle this fetid pools. There's a Vraska. We might still have a chance here. Alright, we'll play Vraska. I'm a little afraid to attempt to destroy one of these with the fatal push unless I have revolt or uh, yeah unless I have revolt oh well there's a treasure though I didn't think about that uh... yeah I'm not sure if fatal push kills this or not unless it has revolt triggered so I'm just gonna trigger revolt just to make sure okay So get in for one. Okay, we're in a little bit of alright shape, I guess. We got a Vraska. Two other creatures. It's gone a little bit better. Okay, they have an anointed procession. Okay. So they're probably going to make something from the graveyard. Oh, no. They have an Ixalan's Binding. Oh, goodness. All right. There's a fetid pools. Um, I think we play this for sure. Put the uh, counter on the secret squire. Attack him for four. And we'll hold up cycling fetid pools. Opponent has the city's blessing. Another anointed procession. They return the Sun Scourge champion. Makes four four fours. Alright, we'll cycle the pool. There's a fatal push. Uh, sure, push one of the tokens. Okay. Not a great draw. Okay, we'll have to just let ourselves get a counter here. Next turn we would flip the climb, but we'll see if we can if it's going to matter. Pony charts, of course. Pony brings back a champion of wits. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I have no sweepers in my deck. My opponent has eight four four. Yeah, eight four fours, and they're at 28 life. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pack this one in.
me try my Knights of Malice out, I guess. I think I like Glint Sleeve potentially being able to pass through uh, like a Champion of Wits or something. This is another deck where Fatal Push seems like I, it's not something I want to be doing. Uh, let me put in these Doomfalls. Fatal Push should be out of my deck, but it will not go out. Yeah, I don't think I want Aetherborn. I'll bring in the extra Brontodon. Yeah, let me bring in the Negates too. I'm just going to go all out like a control matchup here. I'll get rid of this Seeker Squire. One Hydra. I'll trim down one Jade Light. And a Hadana's Climb. We'll try it like that. So I don't know if the Fatal Push is out of my deck or not. And I don't know if there might be one... Oh yeah, there's the Gifted Aetherborn. So it was there was some kind of weird glitchy thing happening. I couldn't tell, but I guess I submitted 60 but with one Aetherborn. <laughs> so that equaled 60 somehow. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep this because we can play a Siphoner. Play a Cemetery and pass. Opponent has an island. Sanctum. Into Siphoner. Gets us one energy. Pass a turn. Opponent charts a course. They pitch an hour of eternity and a chart of course. We'd like to hit a land here. Ouch. Well, at least it's something that we can play. Get in with Siphoner. Play Siphoner number two. Opponent has a champion. They pitch an island and a chart, of course. Uh, yes, we'll draw an extra card. Alright, there's our third land. It's an ether hub. Uh, we'll tack in. Knock him down to 14. I guess we play the Brontodon. I think we need to apply max pressure, and they're not to fumigate yet, but they could be to settle the wreckage next turn. But we'll see what they do. Another champion. Well, now we really want a untapped land, preferably a black source for a Vrosix attempt here. Pitch another champion in a plains. Yes, we'll draw an extra card. Uh, yes, we'll draw an extra card. Oh man, brutal. Oh, we used all our energy too, but uh, actually, Doomfall does it though. Doomfall kind of does the same thing. Okay, exile a champion of wits. That'll allow us to crash in. So we get two energy there. They can block the Bronto Knight if they want. And they look looks like they do. So battlefield clear of champions for a while, knock them down to ten. Ooh, Angel of Sanctions, okay. But 
Well, we got an answer for that at least. So we better, unfortunately, we better not draw a card because we want to be able to Vrasis Contempt, I think. No. So we have to say no. Yeah, see, we wouldn't have. We, we need uh, the second energy. Alright, so we'll Contempt this down. Maybe we should wait in case they go for a Fumigate next turn. I think I have to wait. Because if I clear their Angel of Sanctions, they might be tempted to fumigate now that they're they don't have a creature on the battlefield. So Excellence Binding. That's pretty good. Actually, no, that's really not that great. Uh, we'll attempt to Vraska's Contempt this. Alright. That resolves. Gets our Brontodon back. Uh, yeah, we'll draw a card. Uh, not a tap. Untapped land. Um... Go for attacks. Oh, you know what? That was a mistake. I could have had lethal there. I should have played Hedonis Climb. Well, I just missed out on lethal. I think we just pass. I'm going to be kicking myself if I lose the game because of that. Okay, they scoop it up. <laughs> I guess I'll just run it back. Yeah, we'll keep this. Opponent leads on Arch of Araska. Fetid pulls. Uh, I better play the cemetery to make sure I can play a servant on turn two. They chart a course. Okay, we'll play our energy land. Play us a servant. Brings us to three energy. Opponent plays the Sun Scourge Champion. play our tap land. Um, I'm just going to stick this climb right now. Maybe to help us get an advantage here. Put a counter. Pass the turn. Ixalan's Binding. On the Hadana's Climb. Okay, I think that's the only one in the deck. I think I took one out, right? <laughs> oh well. We got a buff servant. <laughs> Opponent gets in. Siphoner. Attack in. Play 
player tap land. I'll play this Etherborn. I think I want to wait to play the Siphoner with the Negate backup. Opponent charts a course. They pitch a Fumigate. Have an Adorn Pouncer. Wow, all the fetid pools. Uh, I think we want to crash. Opponent double blocks. I think I'll keep the blocking order like that. Okay, knock him down to 17. Uh, play our siphoner. Pass the turn. Excellence binding. All right, I'm going to negate it. I'm going to attempt to negate it. All right. Yes, we'll draw a card. There's a land. crash in. Opponent gets in. Maybe they're going to fumigate. Yep. We'll play a Hydra. Gets us three energy, brings us to six. Yeah, eternalize the pouncer. I guess we'll make them exile a creature they control. We'll pump it once. Bring him down to 11. Can you eternalize this champion? We'll attack. They take it. Play Jade Light. You have the Essence Scatter, okay. Pass the turn.
they don't have any more creatures in the graveyard. They get in for four. There's a scarab yard. We'll go for attacks. They have to settle the wreckage. Get a swamp. Uh, play a scarab yard. Okay. You got one card. Yep, new rivulet. Okay. They mill themselves. Try to find something like a champion of wits. But I can get that champ oh. There's a fumigate. So I get my scare guide back. Um, replay it. I guess he was looking for what angel of sanctions, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and he gained some life too. Okay, eternalizes the champion. Get back this adorned pouncer, I think. Put that on the bottom. There's a blooming marsh. Um, I'm just going to contempt this. Get in for five. Knock it down to six. as a champion. I can definitely find him an answer. Opponent charts, of course. Oh, and they scoop it up. They didn't find it. Wow. Wow, we stuck it in there. Amazing. <laughs> we get the GG's. Uh, so it looks like we took down blue-white tokens.